Flow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and today we are spending the day at the Museum of Contemporary Art North Miami. It's a place where you can not just see the art, but you can become a part of it too, which I'll do now. Talk about family photos and family portraits. This is a representation of the artist Raoul's maternal grandfather. And it's impressive because not just this, it's the whole wall. Now I'm joined by Amanda. She's the curator of education here at MOCA. Amanda, what should I be experiencing between these two exhibits? You're really experiencing a conversation between Raul's maternal grandfather and his mother. This piece is titled Fina, and it's got all of these wearable sculptures. Each of these pieces represents a personality that he wishes that he could become part of with his mother. So joy, nurture, wisdom, all of them placed on top of a ziggurat. The ziggurat is one of the oldest pieces of architecture in Mexico culture. The ziggurat is meant to be made of obsidian, which is a really common material in Teotihuacan, and it was used to communicate to the dead. And this is a really common part of Mexican culture, which is a constant reminder of our ancestors and of that communication. And uh, what do you want people to know about MOCA? There's so many other ways to interact with us and learn with us. We have Sunday Stories, Mocha Mini Makers, and coming up in November, we're starting our new adult art classes called Mocha Makers, so you can create your own artwork with us. Wow, and what is Mocha uh, all about? What do you do year-round? Yeah, we have tons of different contemporary artwork. We're a community museum, and we're really focused on bringing up up-and-coming artists or perhaps artists that haven't gotten their chance in the spotlight. All right, well, Amanda, thank you very much. Now, she also set up for us to be able to talk to Raul, which is pretty cool. So let's do that now. We are fortunate enough to be able to talk to Raul De Nieves, who is right here on this laptop with me. Raul, thank you for being with us today. Hi, how are you? Where are you coming to us from? My studio in Brooklyn, New York. We're so lucky to be here at MOCA today and experience the incredible artwork that you have to share with us. You know, what is some of your inspiration behind all of this? Well, definitely everything strides from a personal re uh, reflection of myself. Um, I think time really allows you to get to know who you are as a person. It's really taught me a lot about relationships, patience, and then at the end of the day, just, you know, something that we can share with the world and how it allows us to communicate with others in a different way. That's something that I think everybody is experiencing a little bit more of right now because they're spending more time with themselves and they're kind of finding what that means to them. How does uh, that show up in your exhibits here? A lot of my work is based around the relationship that I have with my family and the family members that no longer are present in my life, but I feel are way more present in a metaphorical situation through this inspiration of using the life of my mother, my grandfather, my father, and my friends, I've been able to portray this fantastic kind of uh, execution of my life and, and what it looks like today and maybe what it will look like tomorrow. All right. My last question to you is, somebody comes to visit and they want to see your creations here. What do you want them to experience or to know or what would you say to them? Well, I definitely want people to walk away with their own ideas, but to definitely think about the idea of celebrating oneself. And it allows us to like really become more powerful than just one that we all have to think of us like all is one. And we can re actually accomplish a lot by opening up our psyche into um, just letting people into our lives. Awesome. Well, you heard it right from Raul himself. If you come and visit, Make sure you keep some of those ideas in mind. But as he said, have your own ideas as well and have your own experience. Raul, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Total Health Medical Centers is a multi-